In my prior videos on Hedera, I introduced how the hash graph is different from a blockchain, and I also looked at the hash graph network structure. In this video, let's look at the Hedera token, HBAR, and its economics. I'm Corey, and on this channel, I help you decode technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. In this video, let's look at HBAR, the native token of the Hedera Hashgraph network, and its economics. So what is HBAR? HBAR is the native cryptocurrency of the Hedera network. HBARs are used to power decentralized applications, build peer-to-peer -peer transaction models, and protect the network from malicious actors. The Hedera network was launched in August 2018, and at that time, the network's total fixed supply of HBARs was 50 billion HBARs. And these were minted and placed into the Hedera treasury account. After more than a year of testing, the Hedera network opened to the public in 2019 so that anyone could create an account on the Hedera network and any developer could build and deploy applications on the network. So let's look at the two main functions of the HBAR token. First, we have network fuel. HBARs serve as the fuel to pay for network services, such as transaction fees and incentivizing nodes to contribute computing resources to the network. So first, transaction fees. The overall fee for an action on the network is a transaction fee, which is composed of three distinct fees. First, we have a node fee, then we have a network fee, and finally, we have a service fee. Each of these fees relate to how the transaction is submitted to and validated by the network. And the amount of these fees are set by the Hedera Council, which I discussed in my prior video, link in the show notes below. So node fees, a user or application seeking to complete a transaction on the network will send that transaction to a single node, which will then submit that transaction to the network. In doing so, that node will expend resources and energy, albeit a small amount. Node fees are paid from the end user's account directly to the account associated with the node that submits the user's transactions to the network. Node fees compensate nodes for those resources and incentivize nodes to take on this critical role. So next we have network fee. Users pay a network fee that compensates all participating nodes for calculating consensus on the user's transaction. The computing resources consumed by this process can vary based on the file size of the transaction and the numbers of digital signatures. Network fees are paid by users into a Hedera controlled treasury account that collects all network fees and service fees. So next we have service fees. Service fees are paid by an end user to compensate the network for the services associated with the transaction. For example, a cryptocurrency transfer, smart contract processing, file storage, or message ordering. For example, in a file storage transaction, the network will charge a service fee corresponding to the amount of energy and memory needed to store a file based on its size and the requested duration of time it will be stored on the network. For a smart contract transaction, the service fee will be based on the processing power required by the network nodes to perform the computation required by the smart contract. Service fees are paid by users to a Hedera controlled account, just like the collection of all the network fees. In addition, developers offering applications on the Hedera network may also charge their own users an application fee. So the second piece here, we have network security. As Hedera moves along the path to permissionless nodes, HBARs will protect the network against cyber attacks through the network's coin-weighted proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. A distributed network needs to incentivize nodes to contribute computing resources to validate transactions and maintain the shared ledger. Like most digital ledger technology networks, Hedera will reward nodes by paying them in the network's native cryptocurrency, HBAR. Every 24 hours, a Hedera-controlled account will automatically distribute HBARs as node reward payments to all nodes that were online and participated in validating transactions during that period. After the node software provides the ability to proxy state coins to node accounts, node reward payments will be distributed to nodes in proportion to the amount of HBARs staked and proxy staked to such nodes accounts. Okay, so let's look at the HBAR token and its economics. The HBAR network, as I noted, was formed in 2018. And at that time, as we previously discussed, there were a total fixed supply of 50 billion HBARs minted and placed into treasury. At the time of this video, there are 19.5 billion HBAR in circulation, representing 39% of the total supply. Make sure to check out the show notes below if you wanna go in depth into the treasury management and how HBAR is using and allocating 
the HBAR in more detail. Let me know what you think about the Hedera Hashgraph network in the comments below. And don't forget to sign up for the free weekly newsletter where I go in depth on digital assets and topics impacting the industry globally. Finally, a special shout out to Craig who suggested that I look at Hedera Hashgraph in the comments. So if you all are out there, feel free to leave comments. I do actually read them. Join me on the path to decoding technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, 